Hey guys, what's up? Figured I'd do a video of my Norinco M93 Woodsman. There's not a whole bunch of videos out there, so I figured I'd uh, put one on my page. Comes in this little box, uh, and it comes with two magazines. The package is full of Cosmoline, by the way, as expected from Norinco. Everything's packed in Cosmoline. Safety check, nothing. Alright, moving on. The reliability of the pistol is an issue. Um, if you're using the CCI ammunition, it's not a problem. You're not going to get any jams. Uh, put a couple thousand rounds through this pistol. Mostly the bulk ammo, but uh, a lot of CCI as well. Haven't had any problems with the CCI. 100% reliability with the CCI. But when shooting that Winchester white box bulk ammunition, uh, get quite a few malfunctions. Check out my other video, you'll see uh, how bad it, it can malfunction with that cheap ammunition. Now the ergonomics on the pistol itself uh, could definitely use, uh, well, they're not great. Um, the safety is adequate, it's fine. Uh, I don't mind the safety. Um, the slide release, and I'm going to drop it on an empty mag. I know that's not good, but whatever. It's on the wrong side. It's for left handed shooters for some reason. Uh, you can drop it with your left hand pretty easy with your thumb. But for right handed shooters, you kind of have to come and awkwardly release your grip and drop it that way. Uh, the pistol. Uh, sorry, the um, pistol grips that it came with, these plastic pistol grips it came with, uh, the edge down in this bottom corner here uh, is really uncomfortable. I feel like it's too short in the palm and it kind of digs in your palm here. And uh, the way it came was it was real sharp pointing and stuck right in your palm. So what I did, because I'm a right-hand shooter, I, I filed down the, the right-hand side so it's uh, more smooth. I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place, make it more round, but... Uh, that's one thing you're going to want to do if you're shooting a lot. And another criticism about the Ergos is the magazine release, which is on the bottom heel of the uh, pistol. Down here, if you can see that. But uh, you have to use your thumb. It's not too bad, but I much prefer like a pistol drop, or sorry, a, a, thumb, a thumb lever uh, release switch so you can drop it freely with one hand while going to grab for another magazine with your uh, reaction hand you can drop that get another magazine but this you have to use two hand release it and then put the mag in not a huge problem. I'm going to quickly show you how to take down for cleaning use a mag or something you can push down that little button with your finger but I like using the mag it's easier push down slide all the way back you'll be able to push it forward there shouldn't be any tension on the spring. Once you've done that, you flip it upside down. There's some uh, cut marks on the back strap. Push, oops, push on those. You should release the back strap. Take the back strap out. And then you can take that off and do your clean, clean your barrel. Clean everything up nice. Putting it back on, make sure that the spring in here is uh, depressed inside here and it's not, uh, the spring's not popped out like that. Because if it is, you won't be able to get it back on. So just make sure your spring is back inside where it's supposed to be. And slide that back on. Oh, and make sure your magazine release doesn't slide off too. Uh, put your back strap on. Clip it into place, pull it back, and your spring. Release Take a it. closer look at it real quick. You can kind of tell that uh, you can see the machining marks. Not a huge deal. It's not a very pretty pistol, I don't find. But overall, it's not bad. 
good to train with once you get used to that soft trigger it's quite accurate another thing I did is I put some uh, some nail polish on there, the, red, the front sight you can see it a little bit better but yeah overall not a bad old pistol if you're looking into getting into a 22 pistol I'd say start with one of these and if you like it work your way up Anywho, I'll talk to you guys later.